driven by the managing director and supported by the executive board of Ansa Macal, an initiative was taken to bring our marketing, sales and technical services under one umbrella, Abel Building Solutions. Abel Clay, the best street which is the concrete, the Metro which is doors and windows and the two other divisions are really combined in one. That's the air conditioning division and the engineered systems. Our products are the most sought after in the region and locally. We surpass in terms of quality and our excellent customer service. So they might just very well walk in with an idea and walk out with a, a complete project. Um, they will be able to get the professional advice, they will be able to um, probably see different opportunities that they didn't even consider before. All of these companies combined provide synergies and services that none of our other competitors can match. ABS started the air conditioning parts of the company in 2007. Right now we do both residential and commercial. The project really was a natural development, wanting to be able to serve all the markets in construction. We can do cladding, which is the aluminum composite panel. We can do curtain wall, glass systems and we can also do specialty designs. The sky is the limit. Uh, in 2013 alone, we added the elevator division, both of the residential elevators as well as the commercial elevators. We've installed vehicle lifts at the BMW and Land Rover Jaguar offices. We're excited to now be getting our feet wet in that business, as well as the big ass fans was a new line also in 2013. And every year we just continue to grow. Projects Department is capable of pooling all the resources under the ABS umbrella to create a one-stop shop to suit all your building needs. Petrillo was taken over by Ansmakal in 1993. At the time of the acquisition, Ansmakal invests a lot of money into the repairs and maintenance of these plants. Since then, we have been able to increase our capacity from under 20,000 to now over 95,000 a day. Our facilities and processes are ISO certified, so we make products that meet international standards. So we have a wide range of products. Um, the process of making blocks is all the same regardless of the, the manufacture of the equipment. It basically is just raw materials being fed into a um, machine that goes into a mold. The material is compacted and vibrated and then fed onto conveyors uh, to cure. So I would always encourage my supervisors to be part of the process, to be on the floor, to be hands-on as much as possible so that you have a better appreciation of what is needed to make their environment a little bit more comfortable so that you could probably be a little bit more effective in making your targets. Beshkid has definitely showed that there are returns on the investments. We have also um, been innovative and, and stayed on top of the modernization and development of new products. We continuously look for new ways to, to remain the, the premium supply of concrete products within Trinidad and Tobago. Metro being the largest manufacturer, we have no other dominant competitors. We command the market share in the windows and doors industry. Metro has three types of products. We have the steel, aluminum and vinyl. All are labor intensive. We have more manpower than we would have with machinery. All of our products are manufactured in Trinidad locally, in-house. We also do a lot of purchasing of the materials that you get locally. So we are supporting of the businesses and the people in Trinidad. Where we see Metro going is where we would we continue to rejuvenate and redesign our products to add more to our product listing so that you have a different variety and different styles to meet your needs and other designs that you may have seen out there that you want to be unique to the people around you. Metro is part of the ABS one-stop shop. Without Metro in that you don't have a solution to the homeowner coming in there to say you're getting everything from foundation to finish. And with the support of the executive and the management it will continue to be that way.
Every single management that has ever passed through ABEL has contemplated how, the way forward. We've done research since then to now on what it'll take to make us more competitive. Somewhere around 2008, TK4 became more and more attractive, more and more feasible on the books. The factors that push the need for developing to TK4 are threefold. One, inability to meet market demands. Two, rising energy costs. And three, rising labor costs. The process of making blocks on TK4 is basically the same as it has always been in the old plant. The difference is the application of technology. The process itself is basically in six steps. You have mining, preparation, extrusion, drying, firing, and packaging. TK4 technology allows us to create the product in exact dimensions, where in the old plant, we didn't have that capability. We control every aspect of that extrusion. Every single piece of product that comes out is exactly what we want it to be in terms of size, in terms of weight, in terms of compressive strength, ultimately. We didn't have that capability before. Whatever the architect or civil engineer wants, we'll have the ability to do. This is the Lamborghini of plants. This clay investment of 350 million, we have now started to, to reap the benefits. The commissioning year of 2013, again, is startup, and we are seeing good things for 2014. We expect our returns to be, become realized in 2014, and our contribution is projected to be 300% of what it was in 2012. ABS has been one of the groups that the Ansem Macal group has invested heavily in. Best Street, the investment has been over 100 million since 2000. Abel, the investment has been around 400 million since 2000. So the group has trusted the management team, so our investors can feel very confident that the team will deliver on the promises that was made, as has been done throughout our history. We've been building with you for 60 years and we'll be building with you for 60 more.